hello service now experts so today in this video i'll be explaining you how can i push notification push messages to slack using uh, service now from service now we'll push notification or any messages to our slack channel so for that we have to install a spoke uh, which is a part of our integration hub it's it is not a free one it's a paid plugin uh, like as a prerequisite we should have a integration of license then you can install this slack way about spoke for service now integration hub so once you will install this then we'll quickly jump to the slack so you can log in and sign off your slack account and you can uh, create your slack channel so once you will create that I, ha I am using one channel which i have created in 2018 as a, in our tcs ignite we have as a batch d3 we have created this and that time we have used this so i thought of making use the making use of that same channel so here I have created a couple of new channels as well. If you'll see here, create and I have created, click on this button, you can create your own channel, okay? So I have already uh, pushed some notification, you can see. I have already pushed some notifications and not incident changes, any particular messages, those things also have triggered. Okay, how can you do that? So before that, we need a webhook URL. To generate a webhook URL from Slack, you have to click on this add apps. And here you have to search for webhook. So you can click this one incoming webhook, you can click on add. So and then you can click on add to Slack. Okay, so once you will add to Slack, it will show you to uh, choose any channel. So you can choose any channel uh, as a starting, it's taking time. Okay, so these channels are nothing but all the channels, whatever is available here. Also, it will come all the personal uh, chats, whoever is part of this particular channel those will also appear if i'll come here you can see these are all channels so here one test channel also there general is there pradyumna june 15 is there you can pick any one of that once you'll choose anything then you can uh, create the channel so you can create the webhook url so once you'll click on submit this webhook you this will this will look something like this i have already created one webhook url so this will be your webhook url okay and these are the some methodology you can use to push any notification so now i'll be using the integration of out of the box uh, spoke but you, we can also configure the, our rest messages and we can send it uh, okay so these are the basic payload which needs to be generated so for our, if you will use integration hubs that spoke specifically it will generate the payload in the back end you have to pass few parameters i'll show you what are those parameters as well and these are the payloads and this is a message you can add to send any link this also i have already added i'll show you and some icons images also you can pass and the channel override also possible before that i'll show you these are the messages and here if you see there below there is the image you can also add to your particular name and i have given a name called sn pradyumna so if i'll go here you can see whatever messages is being pushed from service now to uh, slack it is coming as sn pradyumna and this is the icon which is appearing if you want to override this name also that is also possible from service now no, uh, uh, actions we can pass uh, some particular extra parameter okay i'll show you so this is one test slack i have created a subflow uh, okay so you can click here and you can search for slack so, okay, there are actually two type of different plugins will be there one will be slack for webhooks and another one will be slack which is which will be used for your software asset management to track the licenses and all so we can use this particular slack there's another separate plugin you have to install but we'll be not focusing on that we'll be focusing on this webhook so where we can push couple of notification you can see problem incident change on changes of this kind of separate uh, things it has already created and i have used two things post and incident these two things i'll be showing here so if i'll go here so it is looking for five parameters okay all are optional but this webhook should be mandatory okay so this webhook is nothing but whatever i have created it got generated from here the same webhook url i have added over there so if i'll come here and this is the messages you can pass any kind of message but if you want to pass any link to a hyperlink kind of thing then you have to use this particular methodology to pass a link okay and here also username i have passed the pradyumna hyphen sn earlier if you have seen here i have already configured it with uh, sn hyphen pradyumna but we can reverse it whenever it will be pushed it will be coming as pradyumna hyphen sn 
and this channel also we can change so but initially you have created this one for test channel for test one i'll show you this one but i can change the name so this is the pradyumna underscore june 15 i can also overwrite that it's not like i have created a book for that channel means it will push to that particular channel so it's not like that you can overwrite that channel and you can pass any images or icons to that particular uh, channel this is uh, this is something like post message another out of the box action is post incident also here also you have to pass the webhook url and the incident number you have to pick you can additional messages whatever you want to send you can pass it override default fields so whenever you will push any notification to incident it will create it will uh, created on this particular field short description category priority and state if you want to override this message then you can pass here all the default fields if i will open this particular action so here you can see these are the default fields which will populate in the message you want to override this one then you have to pass here as a comma separated so it will work so uh, you can try it, try this out and let me know if you face any confusions thanks for watching